Hey everyone, welcome back to the second quick tips video. This one as ah, upside down. Uh, this one is just a quick one about painting visors, lenses, um, essentially dark glass of any kind. Um, this came up because I had a couple of questions on Instagram when I posted my most recent Mandalorian custom uh, about how I got the uh, visor so dark, uh, black and shiny, super high gloss. Um, as you can see there, um, this is more a materials tutorial um, than it is um, a technique, um, but it's the same technique I used on the Traveler here. This was actually the first figure that I used on. He's actually got a little bit scuffed up because I took him uh, to the beach for a photo shoot and then never fixed him up. Um, but the basic ingredients for this... Um, this is kind of my secret weapon, is this, uh, Black 2.0. Um, this is, um, for those of you who aren't familiar with um, something called Vanta Black, it was the blackest substance, at the time, it was the blackest substance, um, <laughs> essentially known to man. Um, it was a paint designed in a laboratory by scientists, um, and then this uh, prick named Anish Kapoor, um, an artist, um, you might know him, he designed the, everyone just calls it the bean um, in the U.S., that big silver, <laughs> it looks like a bean. Um, anyways, he bought the rights to this super black paint, and no one else is allowed to use it. Uh, so Stuart Semple, you can see here, um, hate that idea of anyone owning a color or anything like that so he his company culture hustle created this stuff which is called black 2.0 um, there's a black 3.0 out yet um, that i don't have just because i have so much of this left um, that is even darker but um, that's the idea is this is um, a publicly available um, super black paint um, and unlike Vanta Black, it's not toxic. It's, it doesn't have to be uh, used under controlled circumstances. It's just a really black acrylic paint. Um, so that's secret weapon number one. Secret weapon number two is Army Painter Gloss Varnish. Um, you can get this at uh, any uh, hobby shop that sells like Warhammer type things. Um, this you can only get directly from Culture Hustle um, in the UK. Um, so it is a little bit more expensive for those of us uh, in North America just because of shipping. Um, I'm pretty sure this was uh, about 10 pounds sterling plus shipping, uh, which probably worked out to about 20, 25 bucks uh, for the 150 mil. But um, I also will say that uh, this will last forever. Um, well, obviously not forever, but... It is super pigmented, so you don't need a lot, even um, even heavily diluted with water. Um, this stuff is still super pigmented. Like to give you an idea, to use to do this visor here, I literally used one brush full of paint and about an equal amount of water to make sure it was smooth, um, and that's all I needed to do this visor. So the important thing. Uh, for this technique or this material is um, you do your visor last. So you do all of your painting, all of your weathering, um, and then you go in with super diluted black 2.0 or 3.0 if that's what you have, um, paint the visor, then you do your sealing. Your uh, I use this stuff, I've said before, Krylon UV resistant matte acrylic, and then once that's all dry, you go in and you brush on uh, two, sometimes three coats of the gloss varnish. Um, and this you don't have to dilute, it's already really, really thin. And then that's how you end up with this uh, high gloss visor look. Um, again, this is the expensive part really. Um, this, I'm pretty sure this was about five bucks so I, I don't think that should break the bank uh, this is the one that's that's expensive but it is well worth it um, I've had this bottle for I think two years now a little over two years now and although you can't tell because it's a solid black bottle um, 
I've only used about this much. So um, well worth it. Um, also, as a side note, um, Culture Hustle makes a really good uh, set of glow-in-the-dark pigments that you can mix in with a base paint. Um, and it, the, the glow, especially the original one, the, the kind of greenish, kind of standard glow-in-the-dark color, um, is fantastic. Um, I might do a tutorial on using that stuff later when I actually have more time. Anyways, so that's it. That's your quick tip for today. But I hope you find it helpful. See you next time.